Hello everyone. Today I'm working on this A.O. Smith water heater. This happens to be a 75 gallon water heater, but it's similar to a 50. If you have a 50, it'll be the same situation. The problem with this water heater is uh, what it does is it'll ignite. You'll hear the uh, glow bar, the igniter uh, click and turn orange, and then the gas valve will click and open up, and then the main burner will ignite, the flame will go, and after a few seconds the flame will go off and this will cycle three or four times and then the entire unit will shut down and it won't try to recycle anymore and so then what happens is you'll have some lights down here on your uh, control on your temperature controller and you'll have some uh, yellow lights three or four that'll light up uh, signifying a trouble call and so nine times out of ten what it will be is your your flame sensor which is down on the bottom here and I'll show you how to get to it so the first thing you want to do is you want to come up over here and you want to turn off your blower and then you want to unplug it from the receptacle uh, wherever it's getting its power you want to unplug that power cord so there's 120 volts uh, not going to the machine you want to de-energize it and then you'll come over to your gas valve right here and you will it's in the on position right now you'll turn it off it's on when it's parallel to the pipe it's off when it's perpendicular like so and so then you'll come to the bottom here at the bottom of your gas valve and you'll see that there's a there's a nut on the bottom of this tube and you'll loosen this nut it takes a three quarter inch open end wrench so you'll loosen that up and you'll just unthread it all the way drop that nut down and you'll be able to pull that gas that tube assembly out of the gas valve and then over here in the front you'll see there's a modular plug this white plug and if you push the tab in at the bottom you'll be able to pull that down and pull that out Okay. then you'll come over here and you'll grab that tube and you'll, oh first you'll take your covers off one and two throw those off to the side your covers put them on the side and then you'll be able to let me show you the inside I'll give you a peek at what this looks like first okay so let me get the light in there there's your main burner assembly and there is a igniter and a flame sensor up above it and so you have an idea what it looks like inside so you'll grab the tube and you just pull it straight back Watch out for the wire. You just pull it straight back and you'll be able to pull the whole assembly right out and you'll be able to inspect it. So what you want to be careful with is right here this is, this is the what's called the glow bar or the igniter and that's what turns, turns orange uh, and lights the flame. So you don't want to touch that with your fingers if you get oil on it, what will happen is after a day or two, it'll become very brittle. It'll break down from the oil on your finger, and uh, it'll crack off and break, and you'll have to replace the whole assembly. So what we're interested in right now is this part right here, which is the flame sensor. This you can touch with your finger, but what you want to do is inspect it, and if it looks anything like this uh, burner pan, if there's a white oxidation or a heavy coating of residue over it, which is what it originally had, you want to grab some sandpaper, uh, start with the 60 grit sandpaper, which is pretty rough, and just uh, run it all around this tube, and especially on the tip, and uh, you want to clean that off so it's nice and shiny, uh, just as it originally came from the factory. And then you would uh, switch over to 100, and you can really uh, remove any additional residue that might be left on there, and especially, again, get the tip nice and clean, and uh, that should solve your problem. Nine times out of ten, that is the problem with these water heaters. And actually, every if you want to do maintenance every four or five years, you should pull this main burner assembly out and clean that uh, flame sensor and then reinstall it, and your water heater will last a lot longer. Along with draining, that's why I have a hose hooked on here. This runs over to the drain, the floor drain, and uh, you can loosen this and drain the water out. And uh, if you do that periodically, your water heater will last much longer than if you don't do anything at all. 
So periodic maintenance in the long run will save you money. And so what you do then, you just grab this tube after cleaning your flame sensor and be careful with it because that, uh, that igniter is pretty, it's kind of brittle. You have to be gentle. You'll insert it back in and then you'll just plug this back into the gas valve. Bring your nut up and tighten it into the gas valve. And then you'll plug your modular assembly back in again at the bottom. Then you'll come over here, turn your gas back on like so. Turn your gas on. And then plug it back into the receptacle up above. Turn your blower on and you'll be good to go. I'm going to put everything back together and test it out, but I'm sure that's what the problem is. So again, if you have a, an A.O. Smith water heater or something similar to it, and you have a similar problem where the flame ignites and it runs for a few minutes or less than a minute and uh, cycles off, and the, it'll, it'll do that cycling three or four times and then completely shut down, check your flame sensor, clean it with some sandpaper. I'm sure that's what the problem will be. And you'll save yourself some money, especially if your, ha your daughter happens to be getting married that day or you have a special event. You'll save uh, the cost of a service call and uh, you'll look like a hero to the family. So I hope that works for you. And again, it's an A.O. Smith power shot. If you have any troubles, any questions, uh, send me a note. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. And check out my other videos. Thank you. Have a good day.